English for Professionals, Lesson Four, Work Schedule. Let's begin with a quick check. What does work schedule refer to? A. The number of hours you work in a day. B. The number of days you work in a week. C. The number of weeks you work in a year. Or D. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Your work schedule is your time frame, so it can refer to the hours, days, and weeks within a calendar year. In this lesson, let's learn the meanings and uses of these words and expressions. Full-time, part-time, flexible versus fixed schedule, time off, vacation, sick, and personal days. One aspect that can make you love or hate a job is your work schedule. As an independent contractor, I'm thankful to have such a flexible schedule because it allows me to work and be a mother. As a mother of two, I don't want to work fixed hours. I love having the freedom to decide when and when not to work. Well, the truth is I'm always working because I have two jobs. My full-time job is being a parent. I teach part-time. Sometimes I have to take time off from teaching because of family obligations. Luckily, I don't have to ask anyone's permission to do that. I also have the freedom to take as many vacation days as I want, as long as I get my projects done on time. What about you? What kind of hours do you work? Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll feel more confident talking about your own work schedule. You may not have understood everything that I said, but hopefully you understood the meanings of the highlighted words and expressions. Now, let's study those words and expressions more closely. Full time means working the usual number of hours for a certain occupation. Here in the United States, a typical full time job requires 40 hours. So someone with a 40-hour work week has a schedule of 9 to 5. They work from 9 in the morning till 5 at night, Monday through Friday. Here's the definition for full-time once again. Full-time can be used as an adverb or an adjective. For example, you can work full-time. You can have a full-time position or a full-time job. And we can talk about full-time staff. Part-time means working fewer hours than usual for a certain occupation. Many part-time jobs require only 10 or 15 hours a week. Here's the definition again for part-time. Part-time can be used as an adverb or an adjective. For example, you can work part-time. You might have a part-time job. You might be a part-time employee. A flexible schedule is a time frame that changes because the worker has the freedom to set his or her work hours. The opposite of a flexible schedule is a fixed schedule. So a fixed schedule has fixed hours for the work week. Study the definition of flexible schedule once more. 
The opposite of a flexible schedule is a fixed schedule. So as a worker you have either a flexible schedule or a fixed schedule. The fixed schedule has fixed hours, hours that don't change. And usually there is someone over you who sets your work hours. Time off refers to hours or days when you're allowed not to work. Study again the definition of time off. Here are some common ways we use this expression. You can have time off. You can get time off. And you can take some time off. You can be more specific and say, take time off from work. You might also want to explain why you need this time. So you can use an infinitive or the preposition for. You can take time off to do something or take time off for something. If you only need one day, you might say you have or take the day off. A vacation day is a regular work day on which a person is allowed to rest or travel. However, a vacation day is not to be confused with a sick day. Here's the definition again for vacation day. You might ask someone, how many vacation days do you have? Or, how much vacation time do you have? Let's compare vacation day to sick and personal days. A sick day, obviously, is a day you do not work because you're sick. You'd explain, I'm taking a sick day. A personal day is a day you ask not to work for reasons other than sickness or travel, although sometimes personal days can be combined with vacation time. Here's an example. I need to use two personal days to move into my new apartment. Also, some people use personal days to observe religious holidays. Listen a second time to the opening talk. Try to focus on the details. This time you'll see the captions. One aspect that can make you love or hate a job is your work schedule. As an independent contractor, I'm thankful to have such a flexible schedule because it allows me to work and be a mother. As a mother of two, I don't want to work fixed hours. I love having the freedom to decide when and when not to work. Well, the truth is I'm always working because I have two jobs. My full-time job is being a parent. I teach part-time. Sometimes I have to take time off from teaching because of family obligations. Luckily, I don't have to ask anyone's permission to do that. I also have the freedom to take as many vacation days as I want, as long as I get my projects done on time. I'll now ask three true-false questions to see how well you understood. Here's the first. According to the video, Jennifer doesn't find her present work schedule convenient. Is this true or false? This is false. I explained that I have a flexible schedule and I enjoy having this kind of schedule very much because I have the freedom to decide when and when not to work. 2. Jennifer spends more time taking care of her children than she does teaching. Is this true or false? This is true. I explain that I teach part-time, but being a parent is a full-time job. 3. 
Jennifer has a limited amount of vacation time. Is this true or false? This is false. I actually can take as many vacation days as I'd like. I don't have to ask someone for permission to take time off. This is the end of part one. Please go on to part two and you'll enjoy contributions from two guest teachers.